Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. And this is going to be my project for the Christmas in July 2022 project that Lisa Fisher of Lisa's Paper Lace and Bling Facebook group and Paper Lace and Bling uh, Etsy store and I are uh, running this collaboration. And um, we hope that... Uh, a lot of YouTubers will join in. We've got several so far, and we're looking forward to having many, many more. So let's set this to the side. For this uh, project, I believe I'm going to make a book, and um, I'm using the uh, Christmas Mega Project Pack by Victoria Designs. Now you can see that this is not a red, green, and white kit. Um, however, it is a Christmas kit, and I thought it would be kind of fun to not do the traditional colors. So let's take a look at what we've got. We've got, um, you'll notice I have black clips on here. They were, uh, each section was too big for a paper clip, and I'm going to take these black clips off because I'm afraid that we're going to have a little indentation. But um, I put them on to separate them. Yeah, see there's a little indentation there. Um, separate them uh, for this uh, video. So let me move these to the side for right now. The main journal, oops, the main journal uh, kit has 24 pages of journal pages. And so we're going to take a flip through of these. So we've got these. So we do have Holly and um, some writing spaces, but you'll notice the holly is sort of a bluish color. So um, this is going to be a fun project um, to be different. You'll notice I've printed both sides of the paper and I've also printed them out at um, with no border, okay, borderless. So that means these pages are true eight and a half by 11. And so the my book may be um, a different size than yours when we go with our measurements. Um, for the cover, just make sure to add a um, quarter inch so that you have an eighth of an inch above and below. Or if you like a little bit more, then you might want to use a um, half an inch. Now these are a couple examples of the writing pages. This one does have writing on it, but it's faint. It, excuse my voice, it's faint and um, you can easily write on this page. And here's another one that looks like old paper. And here's another one that um, has these wonderful blue, white, and tan design. So as we go through the pages, you'll see there are Christmas um, items, but once again, they're in the bluish green uh, picture range and I love this is one of my favorite pages of the whole kit with the squirrel on it gotta love a cute little squirrel and here's a writing page decoration page combination a lot of these you'll see have the same bagging because when we fold it in half that will give us um, a page to decorate along with um, pos uh, possibly a decorative page that it would be hard to decorate over that we would want to keep. Here's another example of a writing page. It has the line down the center. Then I backed it with one of these backing pages or writing pages and um, it looks different as well. So there's several writing papers and I backed this one with that one and that gave me a double. This one um, is nice because I have it upside down and there's a beautiful bird on here and some of the colors of the kit. Here's another one, the same thing. So it does have some red in it, um, but it's mainly um, a blue and tan kit. So I liked it for being different. And see, it does have a little bit of the traditional um, I actually kind of wished it hadn't had this red and white because I was trying to stay away from that, but that's okay. And here's the traditional Victoria design, uh, design layout page. 
and here's a different one. And I just love these colors. I love this little bird and the deer. Here's the original one of these before I used it as a backing paper. And here's the same paper with the blues on it and the actual writing on it. Now this kit also comes with a paper saver or ink saver version and it also comes with um, a whole set of templates as well. So we have some really nice pages in here and I'm looking forward to working with this kit. I think it's going to be fun and um, especially because it isn't the traditional you know, like I said, red, white, and green. It does have the red, and it does have some green, but the main colors are the blue and tan, and here's some sweet little birds down here. And I think this is the front with the clock. And this one says Merry Christmas. And I haven't decided on the cover page um, for this book. So we'll have to wait and see. It's going to probably be one of the full page images, which is what we're going to look at next. This is just an intro video. We're going to talk about the project as well. And um, if you're a member of the um, collaboration, you'll know that this video does not count for my one video per week. And um, as we all know, when I make a project, I make quite enough videos to fill up that obligation. Probably more. Oops, clips go over here. So there's these full-size pages, once again in the blue and the cream. This would be a great cover page, um, except it's a vertical page. So I'm not sure. I'll have to wait and see about that. There's another Christmas page. Well, they're all Christmas pages, but this is the same image as on that one page. This is the same one, only with um, different um, a different pattern to it. Or I printed it twice. I printed these on both sides too, but with the same image on the back, just in case we wanted to use one for a writing card. And I think um, as far as ink goes, I think I'm going to be using Walnut Stain uh, because it's darker and there's quite a bit of dark brown. Um, I might go with Vintage Photo. Um, as you can see, this is the full-size page that I used as the backing page on all these. This one's nice. And here's the same one in blue. And then here's a burgundy page. And here's our nice Christmas blues with the bird. Um, this one, if I turned it sideways, I, I would be able to use this possibly as a cover, but not this. So we'll probably use one of these type pages and then just decorate it. See, this one would have made a great cover page as well. I might um, use my... Uh, software on my computer and see if I can turn one of these but I don't think it will work I think it will distort the picture so those are our vertical pages and I believe there are uh, 12 or more of these and then we come to the ephemera which let me say there's plenty of ephemera to choose from I believe there are 20 pages so that should be enough to get you started. So we've got um, our ephemera in lighter colors to help lighten up the uh, book a little bit. Let me start on this side and we'll flip them over. I haven't printed on the back of these yet and um, I waited to cut them up until um, we had done this flip through. Um, this um, text here, they've got it in, I believe, two sizes. There's a larger size that you can print off. I didn't print it off because it was the whole page. Um, and it comes in red as well. I love these little circles. 
My scanty cut's definitely going to cut those out. And here's an interesting pocket. And here's a Christmas tree with your birds in it. And I like the train as well. And here's some frames and um, some of the pages with the fake washi printed on them or elements. And here's a couple more that you can put something inside of. I think this time I'm going to try um, Tanya Bomar and um, Mandy, I'm not sure of her last name, over at, well, Tanya's at um, Taddy Treasure, and then um, uh, I just said her name, uh, over at um, Sunflower and Doors, Mandy at Sunflower and Doors um, method of building the ephemera before making the book. So we're going to give it a whirl and see if I can manage to do that. Um, I've never done it that way before, but I would like to have some interesting ephemera that isn't strictly just the kid ephemera and um, build up our pages that way. So we'll have to see. I think some of the vertical pages will come in handy for that. I love these stamps. I'll probably cut these out with my new um, Decalage trimmer, and I'd like to thank the um, members of the Facebook group and also the subscribers of the YouTube channel. I was able to get the uh, Decalage trimmer by Tim Holtz with um, the donations that I received from those two um, sources. There's the squirrel. I love him. And here's some more holly and some more little circles. And the little circles have, this has a little Christmas scenery in it. Here's some of your old-timey ads. These tickets, it says, uh, good for one big hug. This one says, good for one big eggnog. And this one says, good for one big cookie. So that would be fun. Here's some smaller tickets smaller Christmas tree, smaller train. So these are smaller versions of the ephemera that we've already looked at. And I like this as a border, maybe. Border collage that says Christmas. And here's some more pockets. They were a little more generous with their pockets in this kit than they normally are. And plus, we can make pockets and tucks out of these kind of things. Here's another pocket. Okay, so the kit also comes in three different sizes. So this is the 8.5 by 11 size. And like I mentioned, I printed it borderless. And then it also comes in a 7.5 inch uh, mini size. And I think what I'm going to do is print off a couple more of these and maybe we'll make a little mini booklet or a little mini book that goes with the big book and uh, put it in a pocket in the front cover. And there's also um, a full-size page, but it has the larger borders around it. So when you cut it down, it's um, bigger than the uh, seven and a quarter or seven and a half seven and a quarter inch papers, but not as big as the eight and a half by 11 full size prints. Okay, so here's some of the things that I think we're gonna need. I've ordered some uh, Christmas charms on Amazon and they will be here um, tomorrow, so they weren't here for me to do this. We're gonna need some brads. And I thought since we're making a book, I've never used them before, but I thought maybe we would use some book corners. Um, I have some different colors, and um, I think this color here is the color I'm going to use. Um, I think I ordered them on Amazon, but I'm not exactly positive. I could have actually got them on AliExpress. I think we're going to use some brown elastic to put our pages in. I wish I had the three mil, but right now I only have the one. Um, so we'll see about how that goes. As you know, um, I have issues with my hands and the sewing is just not really an option unless I use some um, embroidery floss and the crocodile. 
so I may do that. So, like I said, we're going to get ready to do some charms. So get your charm kit out. This is heavy. It's a big old-fashioned wooden scar box, which I totally ruined doing glossy accents on top. Can't believe I did that. So in here, I have my charms. I have some silver and some gold. And there aren't really Christmas ones in here. The ones I ordered are holiday. So I'm ready for that. But I also have bulb pens, which I've enjoyed using. I have some, I have a die that makes these kind of tabs. Let's see if I can, let's see what I got here as far as light colored paper. Makes these kind of tabs and it also makes, I have a different one that makes these kind of tabs. So um, we'll probably be using some of those. And as you can see, these come pre-cut with a hole for um, your um, ring and your charm. This paper's been sprayed with the sprinkle spray. We'll probably use some of that too since it's a winter and Christmas themed. Um, I made my homemade alcohol ink spray with um, metallic, um, oh, what do you call it, acrylic paint and some alcohol, but you will know by now about the huge Tim Holtz haul that I got off of eBay, also thanks, thanks to donations, and um, I got um, a whole bunch of the um, inks, ink, inker refills, and um, some, um, oh, what do you call it? Anyway, some other things that um, we will be able to use to make some custom sprays. So we've got our different uh, jump rings, and um, I don't think we'll be using any keys. And so anyway, so we're going to have some charms. And we'll have some uh, crocodile eyelets, which I didn't get out. But I do have those in several colors. We could be using some of these um, um, reinforcement labels uh, for around some uh, holes on our tags. They come in different colors. You can get a kit of this by Avery on Amazon. Um, I also have a punch that makes those. What is that? And it's very handy to have as well. And I believe this, since it's got a blue top, I believe this is a We Are Memory Keepers. Then um, we're probably going to use some stamps. Um, I'm not sure about exactly what kind of stamping I'm going to do. And I'm going to look for a Christmas looking uh, stencil to use because we'll probably use that. So um, I think that's it for our overview of our project. Um, oh, except for one more thing you're going to need. You're going to need some honey bunches of oats <laughs> or some other cereal boxes to make the cover with. By the time we make the cover, I'm sure I will have ordered another box of this because it's healthy and it is so tasty tasty. So you're going to need something to make your cover with. And like I said, you're going to need some um, eyelets and your crocodile. And we may also need a big shot because we might also um, be doing some embossing. So um, like I said, we're going to have fun. And um, I'm thinking we probably will have anywhere from 8 to 10 videos. Maybe not quite that many because a book isn't that hard. Um, to make so I'm gonna try for two videos a week and uh, see if we can get that done um, and have a very very Merry Christmas in July now don't forget that if you're participating you need to use this hashtag which is Christmas in July 2022 project so don't forget to do that and uh, don't forget to have your Merry Christmas in July all right, I'll see you in the next video, and that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Bye-bye.